The most recent Jurassic World movie introduced their very own version of Quetzalcoatlus. But how accurate is it? Firstly, this animal is way too large. A real Quetzalcoatlus had an enormous wingspan of up to 33 feet or 10 meters. Based on its size in comparison to the plane that it attacks, we can estimate that its wingspan is upwards of 25 meters or 80 feet in length. So it's uh, more than double the size it should be. Aside from that, like most pterosaurs in this series, it's far too aggressive. While as Darkids would have definitely been aggressive and assertive hunters, there's no way they would have ever considered taking on a plane of that size. Now, aside from all that, it's actually not a horrible design. Its crest is a little funky looking, but not outside the realm of possibility. Though I will say, they earned some points back in my book for the Pycnofibers. For those of you unaware, Pycnofibers are this hair-like substance that runs along the animal's body, which are actually primitive feathers. Nowadays, we know that Pycnofibers went so far back in the pterosaur lineage that it's likely that most, if not all, pterosaurs had them. Overall, not the best, and definitely not